Beruchim Haboim. Welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Dav Kuf Chof Dalit Amud Beis. Five lines from the top. Our Mishnah had taught us that Kol HaKelim Nitolin Litzorich V'Shaloi Litzorich. And we have two different explanations. The first one is Rabba. Rabba explains Kol HaKelim Nitolin Litzorich, referring to a Klisha Malach Leheter, cups, bowls, plates, spoons, etc. They can be moved, Litzorich refers to Litzorich Gufa, for the usage of those items. Vishaloi Litzorich can be moved, Litzorich Mikoimoi, if you need the place where it's situated. However, a Klisha Malachta Leisr, for example, a hammer, which primary usage is for Binyan, and Makabe Patish, Malacha on Shabbos, can use, be for, used for a secondary purpose as a nutcracker, and therefore, that you can only move according to Rabba Litzorich Gufoy, and you need to use the hammer to open up your nut. However, Rava argues and he says, no. The Mishnah says, Kalakelim Nitolin Litzorich. Litzorich refers to Klisha Malachto Leheter Bein Litzorich Gufoy Bein Litzorich Mekoymoy. And that which it says, Shaloi Litzorich is talking about Mechama Litzel, if you want to take it away from the sun from it's getting damage in the sun, or for example, a person wants to then put it in a safe place away from Ganovim, then it's also mutter, it's considered to be Shalol Litzorich. In regard to Klisha Malachloi Leisr, Rav is the opinion, it can be moved Bein Litzorich Gufvoi, Bein Litzorich Mekoimoi, but not Mechamo Litzel. Says the Gemara, V'af Rav, Sovar Lo Lehode Rav. And Rav also holds like that which Rav said. Doma Rav, for Rav said, Mar shall yig shalo yigonev, zel tiltu shalo litzorich ve'oser. When it comes to a hoe, he says, in order for it not to bec- become stolen, a hoe is a klisha malachta le'iser, and therefore, so it should not get stolen, he says, it's a tiltu shalo litzorich ve'oser. And that's in line with Rav. Time mo shalo yigonev, ava litzorich gufo litzorich mekoyma muter. And therefore, it's a klisha malachta le'iser, this hoe, is used for digging, which is a malach of harisha, if it's in the field, perhaps in a building or in a room, that would be a malach of binyan. And therefore, it's a cleave from malach to le'iser, whereby you can only move it le'tzorich gufoi or le'tzorich mekoimoi, but not mechama le'tzel. And that's the opinion of Rava. So we see that Rav holds like Rava. Ask the Gemara, Eni, is this so? V'ho Rav kehana ikloi lebei, Rav, Rav Kahana visited the house of Rav, the Omar, and Rav said, Aisu le shusu le Kahana le siv ale. Rav instructed his household to bring a mitsuda, which is a trap, which is used to trap animals. Of course, a malach, it's a malach of tzad on Shabbos. That's his primary function. But he wanted to use it as a secondary function for Rav Kahana to sit on. And therefore, it's a klisha malach to le iser. So he tells his household to bring it that he should sit on. Now that extra word of that he should sit on is superfluous. Why not just say he should bring it? Elamai the Gemara said diuk. Lav lememra de dovish malachta le isa le tsar gufoi in le tsarich mekoi moi loi. Is it not coming to imply that you can only move a klisha malachta le isa, in this case the trap? Litzorich gufo to for him to sit on it, but not litzorich mekoyma, which would mean that Rav does not hold like Rava, because Rava says you can move it litzorich gufo and litzorich mekoyma. Says the Gemara, Hochi Amarlu. No, this is what he was saying to his household. Shakulu shusu mekame kahana. Remove the trap so that Rav Kahana can sit down. In other words, remove it so it's litzorich mekoyma. The boys Ema, alternatively, if you want to say that he did say what we thought he said before, he told them to bring the trap so that Rav Kahana can sit. Since the trap was being baked in the sun, so he didn't want it to be construed as if he was saying to then remove the trap from the sun so to be protected and being brought here in the house in the cell. So therefore, he made it very clear he wanted them to move the trap so that Rav Kahana could sit on. But not because the diuk is that you cannot move it 
Litzarich Mekoimo, but rather for the Diuk, you cannot move it. Litzarich Mechamo Litzel. Says the Gemara Vaiter of Rav Mori Barochil, Havoleyahi, Besidiuso Bishamsha. He had a a, um, a pillow made out of velvet that was sitting and being baked in the sun. It was getting ruined. Also, the guy made the Rav. He came before Rav and he asked the following question: Amarle, Mahu little to Can I can I move this this velvet pillow? Now, a velvet pillow is a klisha malachta leheter, and therefore he's asking, can I move it? And he's asking Rav. So Rav shita is a klisha malachta leheter can be moved as well as mechama letzel. Amarle. So Rav answered him, Shari, it's mutter. Isli. Achrina. So then he comes and says back to Rava, but I have another one. He was implying that if I have another and I don't have a tzarech for it. So Rava answers in Chazu La'archim, but you can then give it to Archim. It's fitting for Archim, therefore you can move it. Isli Nami La'archim, but I already have cushions, I already have pillows for my guests, and therefore it's unnecessary, it's not Litzarech for the Shabbos. So Rava then said to him, You are revealing that you hold like Rabba, that a Klishmach to Leheter is only able to be moved, but not Mechama Letzel. And therefore, for everybody else, then one can yes move a Klishmach to Leheter, Mechama Letzel. But according to you, because you hold like Rabba, then you are not. Allowed to move this cushion, mechama letzel. Says the Gemara Vaiter, Amar Rabbi Abo, Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Ashi, Amar Rav, another statement name of Rav. Machabedoi shall milsa mutter letalfun b'shabbos. A broom that is used as a table broom made out of begodim, which is a klisha malachta leheter, is mutter to be moved on Shabbos. Aval shall tomorrow loy, but if it was made, a broom that's made out of a branch of a date tree, so then it can't be moved. Rabbi Allah Armer Ashel tomorrow. Rabbi Allah says you can even move a date branch type of broom. Now, this date branch broom is a klisha malachta the iser because it's mashve gumois. It causes that which has holes in the ground to then have the dust, the dirt, fill up those holes. It's a problem of Binyan on Shabbos. So it's a Klisha Ma'achta Le'isr. And over here, we have a statement that Rav says it's Osir, and Rabbi Elazar says that it's Mutter. So we want to understand what exactly are we speaking about. It says the Gemara, Rav if it's a regular case of moving it, let's say guva for you, let's say well, since it's a klisha malach toy le iser, Rav holds that it's mutter because he holds the shita of Rava that a klisha malach le iser is mutter, let's say guva for you, only you cannot move it, mechamal let's sell. The whole Rav can Rava sviole. Elo, mechamal let's sell. Must be we're talking about mechamal let's sell, and that's why Rava said, Rav said rather, you cannot move this broom shall tomorrow. Ask the Gemara, Behold, Lema Rabbi Eloza Ashel tomorrow. Would you say that Rabbi Eloza says even a tomorrow can be moved? Mechama letzel. It's a klishim machta leisur. So the Gemara says, No, lo oilam. We are talking mechama letzel. But what? Eimo. You have to say vechein Omar Rabbi Eloza. And similarly, it wasn't what we thought before where he said that he was arguing, but rather he was saying in line with Rav. And similarly, Rabbi Eloza agreed with Rav to say that a a, 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 a broom of tomorrow, if it was going to be a klish malach le'iser, in a place where it was going to be, let's say, in the sun, one cannot move it into the tzel, because a klish malach le'iser is also letal til mechama letzel. The Gemara now brings the following Mishnah, kol ha-kelim ha-nitolin b'shabish yivrein nitolin imahen. Here we're talking about where a kli broke, can a person move the shards of that kli? So the Mishnah tells us over here that a keli, a kli that does break, so one can move those shards, those shvarim, on certain conditions. Says the Mishnah, yu Providing that the shards, the shever, can be used to do another malacha. In other words, it doesn't have to do the same malacha that it did until now, but as long as it's then going to be usable for another malacha, then you can move it. 
For example, Shivrech Arevo Lechaso is Boes Piachovis. If you have the Shvarim of an Areva, an Areva is a bowl used for kneading dough. So you can take the, the Shvarim, the pieces of that, and use it as a, as a, a Kisui to cover a Chovis. And therefore it's viable and you can go ahead and move it on Shabbos. Shivrei Zechuchi is another example. Lechas is Bez Piapach. If you have the Shvarim of a Zechuchis that is made to then uh, hold liquid, and then you can take the Shvarim, the shards of that Zechuchis, and you can put it on top to cover your Piapach. So that's going to then be a viable uh, Kli, and therefore it's Mutter Letaltel on Shabbos. Rabbi Yehuda Oimer, Rabbi Yehuda argues, Bilvad Shia Oisim Me'e Malachan. It's not good enough that it does, it's capable of doing a Malacha, in this case a Kisui. It has to be the same Malacha that was done originally. And therefore he gives examples. Shivrei Arevo Lotsuk Lesoichan Mikpa. If this bowl, which is a kneading bowl, normally put in your dough with, then it, the shards have to be big enough that you can go ahead and put a type of tavshil that is also thick, like a porridge inside of this shvarim. Then you could go ahead and move it. Otherwise not. Another example, shel zechuchis, lotzuk lesoichan shemen, or the, 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 the um, glass uh, container that was used to, let's say, carry wine or another liquid. Now that it's broken, it can be then big enough so they can be carrying, in this case, a... Uh, uh, to be put shemen inside of it. So it does have the same type of usage whereby then you can then metaltal it on Shabbos. Says the Gemara of Yehuda Mar Shmuel, Machloike Shenishburu Me Erev Shabbos. This Machloike that we just saw in our Mishnah is a Machloike when the, the Kaili broke on Erev Shabbos. That's when there's a Machloike. The Mar Sover Me'ein Malachton in Me'ein Malacha Acheres Loi, Umar Sover Afilu Me'ein Malacha Acheres. The machlok is in our Mishnah, whether it has to be um, any malacha to be done with this kli, or dafta the same malacha that was done previously. And the idea being that if indeed it is going to be a kli that broke on Erev Shabbos, so then if that kli broke, so providing that you didn't yet use it for a new type of malacha, then it's going to be something that can't be used on Shabbos. can't be used on Shabbos. You can't metaltal on Shabbos. Since it's now just a shard, so, so long as you didn't yet use it, according to Rabbi Yehuda, then you cannot go ahead and use it on You cannot move it on Shabbos unless it has the same use as it had before. Then it has the same uh, quality, the same characteristic, and the same title as the Kli as it was before, whereby you can move it. However, if it's going to be aval nishbru b'shabbos divra kol mutarin hoyo muchanin al gabi avin, but if it broke on Shabbos, then even Rabbi Yehuda would agree that so long as it has a usage, then it's going to be mutter letaltel on Shabbos, because since it has the same properties as the kli until now, so it's still nechshav a kli on Shabbos, and you go ahead and move it on Shabbos. That's according to everybody. Even Rabbi Yehuda would agree. Moisi Rav Zutra, Rav Zutra asked the following question. It says in regards to Yom Tif, Masikin Kikbekelim ve Masikin Bishivekelim. You can burn the wood that is full pieces of wood, but not broken pieces of wood on Yom Tif. So now this has to be understood. The Nishbru Emas, when did it get broken? Ilema the Nishbru me Erev Yom Tif. If you want to say that it got broken on Erev Yom Tif, then Eitzim Ba'alma Ninho. Then it's regular 18, even if it's broken piece of wood, but broken piece of wood are good firewood. And therefore, that's certainly going to be viable. So we can't be talking about that it broke on Erev Shabbos, because it broke on Erev Shabbos certainly would not be muktzah. You can go ahead and use it for your firewood on Yontif. Elolav, is it not be Yontif that it broke on Yontif, the kli that made of eights? Viktani masikin be kelim, ve masikin be You can go ahead and burn kelim, but not their shards, not the broken pieces of the wood of a broken keli. In other words, it must be that this is the opinion that we're talking about, the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, since over here it doesn't have the same designation as it had before, as a regular kli. It's now a broken piece of wood. Therefore, it's muktzah, and you cannot go ahead and move it on Yom Tif. So therefore, we must be talking about over here that 
when it comes to the Machlokis in Rabbi Yehuda and the Chachami, it must be on Shabbos, not on Erev Shabbos. Therefore, it explains the Gemara, Eli Itmar, Halchi Itmar. Omar Rabbi Yehuda, Mar Shmuel, if Rabbi Yehuda is saying that in Shmuel, they must be saying the following statement. Machlokish in Nishburu, B'Shabbos, the Marsav and Muchanhu, Marsav and Noilatu. Their Machlokis is only if it broke on Shabbos itself. That, according to Rabbi Yehuda, if indeed it broke on Shabbos, and it doesn't have the same usage as it had before, although you can use it for something else, it's called Noilad. It's now a new entity. Whereas according to the Chachamim, the Tanakama, is still viable, and therefore it's not considered to be Noilad, because it's a Kli that can be used on Shabbos, and it's not considered to be a new type of, of Kli. A Kli is a Kli, and therefore since a Kli can be used one way, it can be used another way, and therefore it's Mutu <clears throat> But if it were to be broken on Erev Shabbos, everybody would agree. Since it's prepared already before Shabbos, so here we're saying everybody, including Rabbi Yehuda, would say even if it has only a different usage, that it's mutter letal on Shabbos if it broke on Erev Shabbos. Because if it broke on Erev Shabbos, the Gemara is understanding now that then it's already enough to be used already on Erev Shabbos, even if it did not yet get a usage, it's now coming into Shabbos, Huchan, Prepare to them being used, and therefore you can metaltal it on Shabbos. Says the Gemara Vaiter, bringing three different brises. Tani Chada, one brise like we saw before, Mesikim Bekelim, Vein Mesikim Beshiver Kelim. You can go ahead and burn Kelim, we're talking about wooden Kelim, but you cannot go ahead and burn Shiver Kelim, that's broken pieces of wood from that Kelim. V'tani idoch, another b'risa says, K'shem shema sikim b'kelim, k'ach me sikim b'shiver kelim. The same way that you can burn the kelim out of wood, so you can bring, b- burn the kelim, the broken pieces of that kelim from the wood. The, bris, the, the shiver kelim of that wood. V'tani idoch, we have a third b'risa. E'en masikin loy b'kelim v'lo b'shiver kelim. You cannot break, sorry, you cannot burn neither the kli nor the shiver kelim. So Gemara explains the author of these three brises. Ha Rabbi Yehuda, the first brises that says that it's also to burn both Kalim and Shiva Kalim is Rabbi Yehuda. Because Shita Rabbi Yehuda is that indeed it has to be the Kli that is going to be designated for the, for the very thing that you're using. In other words, Rabbi Yehuda is the Shita we said that unless you're going to then have the Kli to be able to use for the same use as before, then you cannot go ahead and metaltal it. And therefore, since they, this is going to be kalim that are shivrei kalim, you're not going to be use it as a kli, you can't use it for hasoka, and therefore it's going to be also letaltal. Ha Rabbi Shimon, the second bright that says in mutter lahasik keli, and it's also lahasik the shivrei kalim, that's Rabbi Shimon. Because Rabbi Shimon is the shita that the kalim that, uh, that you have are not muksa, and therefore, just like you can mika- mastic the kalim, you can mastic the shivei kalim. Both the kalim and the and the shivei kalim are not muksa. They're going to be viable kalim that can be moved and can be used as firewood on Shabbos. The third brisa that says you cannot mastic not for kalim and not shivei kalim, that's the shita of Rabbi Nechemia. Rabbi Nechemia is the shita that we saw once before. That Rabbi Nechemia holds that a kli, in order to move the kli. On Shabbos, it has to be for the very intended usage of that kli. And that's it. Otherwise, it cannot be moved. So therefore, these are the three authors of the three different prices that we said. Says the Gemara Vaiter, Omar Rav Nachman, Hani Livni the Ishtayur Mivinyana Sharli Tiltulina. Rav Nachman said, these bricks that are left over from a binyan, that are set aside for binyan, so these could go ahead and you can use them to sit on on Shabbos, metaltalim on Shabbos, because since you can sit on them, they can be used. It's a klisha malachtoi lehet leiser, and therefore they're mutel etaltel. The chazal mizgalai because they're fitting to be sit, sat upon. Shargin hu if they are stacked in a way that they're about to put be used. For the binyan, however, then vada yaktsinu, then they were certainly set aside for the binyan, and therefore you cannot metaltal them. Om Rav Nachem Shmuel, Rav Nachem said the name of Shmuel, 
cheres kitana mutal letaltal bechotzer. A cheres kitana, a small piece of cheres, that is mutal letaltal in a courtyard in a chotzer. Because people are found in the chotzer with various type of kalim, thereby this small piece of, of, of cheres can be used as a kisui for one of these various vessels, and therefore it's valuable and you can hide a mutter letaltal in a chotzer. But since kalim are not found t- typically in a karmelis, therefore the shar, the, the cheres, will not be viable, and therefore you cannot metaltal in a karmelis. Now we're talking about even in Dalit Amas with a karmelis. Rav Nachman Didei Omar Afilo Bekarmelis. Rav Nachman himself, however, argued on Shmuel and said that even a karmelis within Dalit Amos, you can go ahead and metaltal a cheres, because still people. Although there are not many kalim inside of a karmelis, but there are people who do uh, very often walk and sit down in the karmelis, and therefore it would be convenient to then cover up a piece of spit that might be on the ground, and therefore it's a viable kli. But to carry to metaltel a a a, a, cheres, a small piece of cheres, in a Rishus Harabim, even within Dalit Amos, would be awesome because it's not a viable Kli, has no, no usage. The Rava Omar Afilu Rishus Harabim. Rava argues and said, you can even metaltel a Kli Cheres, a small piece of Cheres, not a Kli, but a small piece of Cheres, in a Rishus Harabim, within Dalit Amos. And he, right, that's his Shito. The Ozder Rava the Tamei and Rava explains according to, he goes according to his reasoning. The Rava have a Ozder Beritka the Mechuzo. Rava was walking in the thoroughfare of Mechuzo in the Rishis Rabbi Mechuzo. That's a city called Mechuzo. Isvasoi b'Sanei Tino and his shoe became solid with cement with the uh, clay. Also Shamei Shokel Chaspa v'Kamechaper Le. His 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 uh, Shamish he took. A shard of ceramic, and he began wiping off the clay from the shoe of of, of Rava. Ramu be Rabbanon kolo. The Rabbanon were up in the upheaval. They screamed out him to stop. Omar Rava said, "Loy mistaye de loy gemir." It's not enough that you don't you didn't learn what's mut and what's also. He said to these chachamim, "But migmar nami magmere." But you're going to teach others the wrong halacha. And others, Ravis maintains that indeed it's mutter the taltel a klicheres, even though she's a rabbi, him talked about Ramos. Omar of Yehuda, Omar Shmuel. Sorry. Ilu bechotzer havoi, miloi haye chazi le kisui me mona. Hochanami chazle didi. Rav explained himself. Since it would be mutter the taltel, this in a chotzer, so it doesn't lose its shame, kli. And therefore, in the Rishus Rabbim, you can metaltel the shard of a cheres, and therefore, within Dalit Amos, Rishus Rabbim, it's mutil letaltel. Om Rav Yehuda Mar Shmuel, another statement that Rav Yehuda made in the name of Shmuel. Megufa zchavi shebe chitetcha, she chiteta. A megufa zchavi means the cover of a chavis that became broken. Mutil letaltel b'shabbos. Here, there's a gear set that says he v'shivreha. Mutal taltel b'shabes. The megufa itself, the covering of this chavis, as well as its shards, is mutter. Its pieces are mutter letaltel on Shabbos. Tanya nami hoch. We have a brisa also that says like this: Megufa she nichtel ta he v'shivreha mutal taltel b'shabes. A a covering of a chavis, it and its shvarim can be moved on Shabbos. The Bryce goes on to say, and you cannot fix from it a shever by cutting, let's say, smoothing out the edges and using it to be a kisui for a kli. Or to then support the leg of a bed. Because that would be then a tikkun, and would be a melach of maka b'patish. But once you throw it into the trash, then it loses its shame clear and its ulcer. Maski for Rapopo. Rapopo then asked the following question. If I would throw my cloak into the garbage on Shabbos, would it lose its shame clear just because I threw it into the garbage? 
Elo Amar Papa, rather a Papa explains on top of two Kaf Kuf Al Hey Amar Aleph Im Zarka Mi Boid Yoyim La Ashpa Asuro. If a person would throw it the day before, meaning on erev Shabbos, into the Ashpa, then it loses its shame kli, because then he's showing that he doesn't want it to be a kli. Whereby on the entrance to Shabbos you can it's also letalta loses its shame kli, but on Shabbos it didn't lose its shame kli just because you threw it in the Ashpa.